What's up, what's up, you know, tune in to Old Nan TV, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we gonna get right into this, man. I like to send a special shout out to Justin Alexander, man, for the cash app. Justin Alexander and Stan, man, Stan, what's up, man? Thanks for the cash app, bro. Y'all really don't know how much this cash app mean to Old Nan TV, man, because we working hard for the people, man. We out here trying to do it. We trying to get justice for Dove, man. And we trying to get to the bottom of this, you heard me? And I really appreciate all the love that On That TV is getting right now, man. I really appreciate all the love that y'all giving me, man. That's why I'm going to give y'all the best of the best, man. And I'd like to give another special shout out to all them bloggers out there, man, that, you know, that repost my videos and... You know what I'm saying? Give me a shout out when they reposting my videos. And I ain't got no problem with them taking my stories and, you know, basing their stories around that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just about the respect. If you're going to do that, man, just give Old Nan TV a shout out, man. We just got here, man. And we bigger than ever. You heard me? And I also want to send another special shout out to this blogger, man. His name is Robert Knight. And he got the Knight Show. You heard me? Yeah, he from Memphis, Tennessee. Man, this dude did some real shit, man. You know, another blogger that was out there that released a story yesterday that everybody was on about solving the Young Dog case, man. You know, this guy, Robert Knight, went into his box, man, from the night show, went into his comment box and told him, say, look here, man, you basing your whole story around on that TV, man. You need to stand up and get that man his props, you heard me? And you know, that's real, man. You know, for a man to stand up and say, look here, man, you know, we all in this together, man, but you stealing right now, so you need to go ahead and give a shout out to the nigga you're stealing from, you heard me? So I want all my fans to go over there and give, you know, the night show some love, man. You know, give the night show some love too, man, because we ain't but a few of us left, man. We the last of a dying breed, you heard me? I'm going to send another special shout out to Cold Figure TV, man, and True Results, you heard me? Because, you know, True Results was the first person I seen that actually had that great screed indictment up on his page, you feel me? And that brought a lot of curiosity. And Old Nan TV was like, yeah, oh man, we got to dig into that. And that was what led me to bring it to the forefront that Dolph, yeah, young Dolph was not a snitch you heard me so in some type of way we all need each other and some type of way we all lead each other you heard me and it's about being as accurate as possible so that's why we deal with paperwork over here at on that tv man we don't do nothing but the black and white you heard me we don't do no conspiracies we don't do no if ands buts or maybes you feel me and to all my fans and all my viewers out there you know if you see somebody right now and they up there, you know, reporting something that you done seen on On Air TV first, man, call them out, man. Man, if y'all real, y'all will call them out, you heard me? Don't let them sit up there and report something that y'all know that y'all seen right here first. You feel me? Because I'm going to be looking at you sideways when you back in my comment box, you feel me? And I say that to say this because On Air TV... Man, we was the first one on YouTube to go run after Miss Kamisha Henderson White, okay? Miss Kamisha Henderson White, J Money True La Mama. Man, we had to bring her to the forefront, man, because she been doing the most. And I felt like the bloggers been missing everything that was going on right in the front of their face. But as you can see, some of these bloggers, they base their whole story now around True La Mafia. Allegedly, okay? <laughs> and coming up with all these stories, talking about this person and that person that has something to do with it. But, hey, that's how this thing works. I just want you to pay your respect, you hear me? Pay attention, people. Pay attention, all right? Now, today, my story going to be totally based on Miss Kamisha Henderson White, you hear me? My story going to be perfectly based on... On Miss Kamisha Henderson White, all right? And we're gonna get into the story today about Miss Kamisha White because I gotta bring this to the forefront, man. This lady went to her Facebook and she said to Onan TV, one thing about Michelle, I'm not going to try to clear nothing up for no bloggers, no social media, no news media, and nobody else. I don't have to send no hit. See, when you know that good man named Jesus, you can sit back and watch him spin the block. He do it every time. 
I don't never wish death for nobody, but hey, those angels of mine still sliding. Now, ladies, I know you just did not sit there and say that you going to sit back and watch Jesus spin the block and do a drive-by on Onan TV. Now, why would you say such a thing, okay? You ain't had enough yet? Man, this lady say, when you know Jesus, all you got to do is sit back and watch him spin the block. Man, oh man, I wouldn't even associate Jesus with spinning the block, okay? Sound like to me, you want Jesus to do the same thing that you asked True Mafia to do on dog. <laughs> Allegedly. Something is definitely wrong with this picture, man. This lady here, straight up burnt out, man. Lord have mercy. After the day, I'm definitely going to leave you alone, because see, when the more people start telling you they waiting on Jesus to do a drive-by, man, you better take cover, bruh. Because boy, oh boy, shit about to get real. All of a sudden, Miss White over there screaming Jesus. But uh, earlier, you were talking about I want revenge and I want it now, pussy. I truly believe this lady got two sides, man. This lady got two faces, man. Ain't no way you can go from sending a hit, allegedly, and asking Jesus to do a drive-by, and then turn around, tell him, uh, my God is good. Man, miss me with that shit, Miss White, okay? We do not have time for your shenanigans, okay? Those were your words. Those were your words that came up out of your mouth, okay? You said that you wanted revenge, and you also said that Dolph didn't do nothing for your kids. And from the looks of it, you're mad because Dolph signed the alleged killer of your son. And other bloggers wouldn't even be reporting that if it ain't before on TV, man. Because we already knew that. We already been dig up everything that this lady had buried, okay? But we just brought it to y'all piece by piece because we knew what was up. Trust me, we already knew all that. <laughs> And by the way, thank you for the shout out. Because she also took to her Facebook page and said, Oh, Nan TV, baby, all your info is incorrect. You got to be kidding. So if my info is incorrect, then how could another blogger report a story last night and got a certain amount of number of views off of that story because he was aiming that story at you? So where the hell you think he get that from? Hmm. He just say magically appeared and stumbled up on that. Nah, he was watching on that TV, man. He was watching on that TV. Now, I'm going to get on this next topic right now about this guy, Marv Wilson. And Marv Wilson is Anita Wilson's son, okay? And he made a post. He said, I don't speak on this situation much, but I woke up heart smiling, knowing that my mama, Anita Wilson, and Darnisha one step closer to justice, and they never hollered for justice. PSA. You gang-banging, young-minded-ass niggas need to quit putting your family life in danger because you want to be street. All the real street niggas getting money now. My mama was shot and killed being at the wrong place at the wrong time. So all you bloggers and gossiping motherfuckers quit making up shit. A 23-year-old punk killed a 57-year-old woman and critically injured a 41-year-old woman. One thing about it all, we got to be judged. You gonna get everything you deserve now and in the afterlife. Now my question to Mr. Marv Wilson is, you sitting back right now knowing who killed your mama and instead you go to the police or you go handle that, you on Facebook talking about a 23 year old punk killed your mama. All right, now, if your mama been in the wrong place at the wrong time, I mean, shit happened, you feel me? But seem to me like you know a lot just like your brother, man. Your brother know that the same gun that killed Dolph killed his mama and your mama. And now you coming out on Facebook saying the dude is 23 years old that killed your mama. Okay? And he's a young punk. Man, are y'all talking to the police, man? Because sound to me, that's who you need to be talking to, bruh. You right here trying to check Facebook and trying to check YouTube bloggers, man. Sound like to me, you need to be out here with something in your hand. 
out here head hunting or you need to be down at the police department man writing out a written formal statement on what happened to your mama bruh because i already addressed this i already told people out here man these dudes like this that be exposing all their business on the internet man for the life of me i don't get that you know what i'm saying i don't get that then you get mad when people talk about you but you go up there and put this up on the post for everybody to see for somebody to rebuttal okay and you know niggas gonna rebuttal man especially when you ain't making no sense bro man go sit down somewhere bro go sit down that car has been shot at two times bro from the first time that car got shot your mama shouldn't have never been riding in it bro if this car done been shot up before ain't no way i'ma have my mama riding around in this car come on man we about to get on some street shit now i don't want to take you there little bro because i don't think you're ready man i think you're capping i think you're big capping bro and then y'all chill running your mouth because you don't know if the killer of your mama got homeboys or people out here that are going to do something to you or whatever the situation is and you on facebook capping at these people man come on bro use your head man and ain't nobody trying to tell you this to try to make you look down or anything man but things like this man you got to keep silent on bro you can't be talking bro especially talking tough when you still got to live out there man you don't know who know who bro and a nigga shot your mama man you gotta understand this somebody shot your mom bro the last place you need to be expressing your feelings at is facebook my nigga facebook man come on man people wake up man please wake up and then you revealing the age of the person who shot your mama bro i mean you actually sitting there telling the killers that i know who you are i know who you are bro you are punk you killed my mama man dog don't you know that these people will hunt you down like cattle man you know what i'm saying you can't be doing that i'm trying to teach the brothers out here man but they just don't want to learn bro people act off emotions bro emotions are an act of the devil bro they are an act of the devil you must think one two three four five times before you speak out of your mouth man you gotta think at least five times before you speak bro now i'm gonna get off this story man and i'm gonna be back with a part two and i got something for y'all when i come right back okay and this is on that tv man and we gonna sign out bro